Yeah, the human race invented a lot of cool stuff, but nothing beats the emoji! What better way to express yourself? The human race is an incredible species. Every year we are continuously inventing new and amazing things that make our lives better. But there have been some specific inventions in the past that were so amazing they changed the world forever. Here are the 10 greatest inventions that changed the world. Number 10 is the compass. It's like early GPS, which is something I definitely need because I have no sense of direction. In the past, civilizations were bound by their respective land masses, so ancient mariners couldn't get far navigating by stars during daylight or cloudy nights. It was actually the Chinese during the Qin Dynasty from 221 to 206 BC who invented the first compass using lodestones containing iron oxide that aligned itself with north and south. And by the 8th century AD, Lodestone magnetized needles were standard navigation devices aboard most ships. Through trade, the compass found its way into the hands of European as well as Arab societies, and the compass replaced astronomical navigation by the 14th century. It was this device that ignited the Age of Discovery. For me, it was GPS that ushered in the Age of Discovery, because before that, I would just get lost a lot. It was scary. Number nine is gunpowder. Now don't let the hippies and peaceniks fool you. Yes, gunpowder may have resulted in deaths in the past, but it also helped human civilization expand as well as consolidate. Chinese alchemists invented gunpowder during the 9th century when they discovered carbon from charcoal plus an oxidizer forms carbon dioxide that creates energy. It was that energy that could propel fireworks, but the Song Dynasty soon realized its raw power against the hostile monsters. Gunpowder eventually found its way into the Middle East as well as Europe along the Silk Road in the 13th century, allowing cannons and guns to pierce armor and destroy castle walls. Prior to its invention, military combat was exclusive to knights with broad swords, battle axes, and bow and arrows. Okay, so gunpowder did result in the death of a lot of people, but fireworks! Fireworks are good. Okay, a lot of people died. But fireworks! Number eight is the printing press. The printing press democratized knowledge beyond a small collection of religious scholars who regurgitated what they read to the illiterate masses. Believe it or not, books were almost exclusively written by monks about religious matters so only men of God and noblemen could actually read. But that all changed in 1439 when Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press in Mainz, Germany. His device used movable type that could be mechanized to print up to 3600 pages a day. By 1500, 1000 Gutenberg presses were in use and by 1600, 200 million books had been published in Europe, sparking the Age of Enlightenment. Today, we also use them to print books, of course, but we also use them to print comics about cats in Mad Magazine. What a time to be alive. Number seven is the steam engine. Every motorized vehicle we use today, from cars to rocket ships, would not be possible without the invention of the steam engine. Knowledge about the power of steam has existed since the first century AD, but it was English inventor and engineer Thomas Savory who harnessed its raw power in 1698. From there, steam-powered improvements in transportation, agriculture, and manufacturing allowed superpowers like Great Britain and the United States to expand their influence. The steam engine's principle of energy into motion set the stage that allowed for innovations like internal combustion engines and jet turbines that keep the world moving today. Look at that, and you thought Thomas the Tank Engine was just a silly cartoon. He's an engineering marvel. Toot toot. Number six are contraceptives. Ever since humans have started making babies, they have also tried to not make babies. Coitus Interruptus, as it's officially called, dates all the way back to the Old Testament. In addition, ancient Egyptians used crocodile dung to absorb sperm, Chinese concubines drank deadly mercury after sex, and Middle Ages Europeans tied weasel testicles to their thighs. Primitive condoms were even made out of goat bladders that were somewhat effective in 3000 BC. Muh, Kronk have a go at you now, just let me get goat. 
<laughs> American inventor Charles Goodyear was the first one to patent a condom in 1884 using vulcanized rubber techniques, also patenting cervical caps called womb veils. But it still took another century for effective contraception to be created when Austrian scientist Carl Gerasi created the progesterone pill that blocks ovulation. And finally, in May of 1960, the FDA officially approved the pill that also brought along the sexual revolution as well as bell bottoms for some reason. It's a weird time. Number five is the light bulb. It's actually hard to overstate the importance of the light bulb for civilization, but here's one way. Spend the whole day with your eyes closed. Life before light bulbs was literally in the dark, with most people just going to bed after sundown because there was nothing else to do or see. Thomas Edison is typically credited with the invention of the light bulb, but it was actually British Humphrey Davy who invented the first electric light in 1802. Other inventors like Warren Delarue helped advance the light bulb by coiling platinum in 1840, but Thomas Edison filed the first patent for a practical incandescent lamp in 1878 for everyday use. The light bulb has since changed mankind's sleeping patterns and allowed us to become nocturnal, and also allowed us to not get eaten by scary things that go boom in the night. Number four is the refrigerator. Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> then you better go catch it because without the ability to keep your food cold, a hostile bacteria party in your body is assured. Refrigeration has been around since about 1000 BC in China. But later in about 500 BC, Egyptians and Indians used earthen pots to make ice and later cellars, caves and salt to keep food fresh. Scotsman William Cullen observed in the 1720s that evaporation has a cooling effect. Effect. That propelled Englishman Michael Faraday's discovery that liquefied ammonia causes cooling, the science behind modern compression refrigeration. Commercial refrigeration became available in 1890, and General Electric's The Guardian became available in homes by 1911. As of today, 99.5% of American homes have a refrigerator, which accounts for about 20% of energy consumption worldwide. Well, us North Americans definitely love to eat our food, specifically Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. If there's leftovers, you can't throw them out. You gotta store them somehow. Delicious. Number three is penicillin. Picture this, before antibiotics, pneumonia and diarrhea were the number one killers in a civilized world. Ancient civilizations used antibiotics without understanding bacteria like the Egyptians, who treated wounds with moldy bread. Ha! I'm shot! Just put a piece of bread on it. German physician Paul Ehrlich discovered the first modern antibiotic, arsphenamine, in 1909 to treat syphilis. But the real game changer in modern medicine was the clumsy discovery in 1928 by Scottish microbiologist Alexander Fleming, who left cultures undiscovered in his lab during his vacation and discovered the fungus Pelicinium. The Penicillium notatum that had grown created bacteria-free zones, and thus penicillin, the wonder drug, was born. It reduced pneumonia deaths during World War II down to 1% and extended human lifespans by decades. Decades. All because a guy couldn't keep a clean work area. Learn from that, kids. Don't clean up ever. Just kidding. I don't want your parents to kill me. Number two is the telegraph. Before the telephone, the internet, or even Tinder, the telegraph modernized long-distance communications and launched the information age. Ancient civilizations used drum beats and smoke signals to exchange information between distances, but minor things like weather could interfere with effective communication, while letters carried on ships often came too late. Samuel Morse of Morse Code fame changed all of that when he used his single-circuit telegraph to send the first dots and dashes message from Washington DC to Baltimore, Maryland in 1844. By 1866, a telegraph line connected the United States with continental Europe, which changed the way humanity communicated and impacted everything, including government, trade, banking, industry, warfare, and media. And if you think you don't have patience now, imagine back then when you had to wait for a I love you by It's just annoying. And number one is the internet. My personal favorite thing, I live here. 
For all of you that use the internet on a regular basis to communicate with people, back in the day, people actually used to talk to each other. I know, it's crazy. Now, the internet doesn't really have a single inventor, but it all began with a paper written by Leonard Kleinrock in 1961 called Information Flow in Large Communication Nets. 1969 was huge because we put a man on the moon, but the US Defense Department also launched the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network known as ARPANET. It was that that created the internet communication protocols that we use today. The internet for decades was exclusive to military and universities who shared large swaths of information on closed networks. But in 1991, the World Wide Web was created by Tim Berners-Lee that democratized the internet that we now know. Now we can eat, shop, and date without even leaving the house. <sighs> Remember outside? I don't. And those were the 10 greatest inventions that changed the world. But if you guys enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you can enable notifications so you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time on the interwebs. <laughs> Bye.